Okay, Gary. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to do a little bit more thorough video of the coop. Um, I just got home from work and check in and look at these eggs were hatched to the, oh not hatched but late today my wife came with my son earlier and she said they had no eggs so seeing that there's oh this is warm they just laid this one that one's warm yeah i got an incubator coming in today i've gone through like two incubators and because they're like made in china they're like really hard to understand and they don't really go do a thorough introduction to the unit. So I couldn't got it, get it to work. And I went through two of them. So this time I, w I ordered one from Harris Farms. And it's got like over 1,400 reviews. So I should I should be in good, good standings this time around. Oh, wow. Look at all these. There's like four of them in here. Yeah. Got two of them in here. I'm going to have to do a little clean up here. Okay, so... These are my, I believe they're called Leghorns. They're white. This one I call Kellogg's. It's very nice. I had I had this one since a baby chick. I got it at, when I went to uh, Watertown, New York. This is the one you saw in the video. These are the lavenders. I just picked these up about a couple of weeks ago uh, off a guy in Dudley. Uh, they were 25 bucks a piece. I've never had any and uh, because I'm constant. when I did get chickens, I was going to track the supply and track the supply is kind of limited, I guess, depending on which one you go to. They don't have all these kind of breeds. They usually have the basic ones. So I ended up getting two lavender hens from the guy and then I got a, a young lavender rooster. So I have a total of three roosters. Uh, but they all they all seem to get along. Based on what a lot of people say, you're supposed to have like nine to ten uh, hens per rooster. I have about uh, like ten hens, I want to say, and I don't have any problems. This is the Easter Egger rooster. I call him Oscar. Those are my two Leghorns. They're really nice white. This is a Rhode Island Red. They're supposed to be really good for me and for eggs. I have two of them. And so I just found out today that I guess you're not supposed to use cedar, cedar shavings for chickens. So luckily I didn't buy a big one. I, I just bought like a small cube. Oh, that's a huckleberry. That's my Plymouth Rock rooster. Uh, but yeah, I got I put a small cedar to mix with pine and straw. So I think they'd be okay because it's not the majority isn't cedar. But this is the like you know, coop. I was able to kind of like try to put together. I put two of these railings on one side so they can go up at night. I put this one here because they were having trouble reaching this one. So that one gives them like, like another height to reach these. I had these two, and then I recently added this one for a third one. So they got plenty of railings. I got eight buckets for nesting. I'm, I'm probably gonna have to get more. I think what I'll try to do is try to get some milk cartons and maybe do a couple of them for the floor here. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'm gonna have to clean it up a little bit, but uh, what else? This one right here is the Plymouth Rock hen. I got the rooster, and that's the hen. Very beautiful. Yeah, and I had I had this one, this one. Pretty much, I had all of them since baby chicks, with exceptions of these two, these three. These I recently picked up. And I have one. Let me show you the runner. Well, I have a, a, I got food in here. They say it's good to leave the food inside. That way it doesn't get rain and wet and get moldy. So the food is inside. 
Ugh. I got these automatic solar lights, but the problem with these, maybe like after 10 times that they turn on, uh, they stop turning on. And then you gotta wait for the next day to charge them. So that's why I ended up putting a permanent one there. I heard like the more light they have during the day, the better egg production you have. So here's a better look. They're all together here. Oh, that's uh, my uh, black Cucumoran right there. Kind of looks like a, a bar rock, but only this one's more black. And they're supposed to lay like darker brown eggs, like chocolate. So we got Oscar, the Easter egg or rooster, Huckleberry, Plymouth Rock, Blue Plymouth Rock. We got Kellogg's there. We got the Plymouth Rock hen. The one and two Rhode Island Reds. The two Lavender Hens, the Rooster. And the other ones are in the Runner. Watch your head right there. And he's a, here are the other ones. This one's a Buff Orphington, if I'm saying it right. Here's the other Cucumoran. And then this brown one here, this big fat one. I picked up with the lavenders and uh, she lays green eggs. So it's pretty exciting. It's my little mechanism here. So I got this water for them. It's heated, so I plug it in and it doesn't freeze. This out here is, I wanna say it's a, like an eight by six runner. Not huge, but it's it's good enough for, for them, you know? It doesn't need to be that huge, so. Um, that's Huckleberry singing the tunes. Look at all of them. They look, those lavenders are gorgeous. They're like they're like a very light gray to like. Oh, they're using a swing. I put that swing in there. <laughs> yeah, it's like a lav like a gray lavender. I don't know, man. It's like it's very unique. And it's really cool in person when you see them, like, just a very unique color. So I was happy to pick those up. Yeah. Got more solar lights, but like I said, this one's okay when it come out here at night to close them off, it turns on. I gotta finish painting. I, I went through two buckets. One bucket I went through, my son tipped it over. <laughs> so I had to buy another one. And, uh, I was able to do the back, but I just got this top here to do. And then this little piece right here I have to finish. There's the lavender rooster. Really beautiful, man. They're like really beautiful. I love my chickens, dude. Like I, I grew up with chickens because my dad raised them and stuff, but I guess I really didn't put too, put too much mind to it. Like I know I, I fed them when I was a kid and stuff like that, but like now that I have my own, I can really appreciate just how beautiful they are. Like really beautiful chickens. They like they're humble. They don't you know. They don't run away when you're like right next to them. They like they just stand right next to you, scavenging. I definitely want to get more hens because I want to produce more more eggs and maybe if I'm able to produce quite a bit, I can maybe sell some organic eggs you know that's what so pe people who have chickens you know they try to sell organics and make a few bucks not, nothing crazy um but yeah really happy because this is the original one i had i don't know if i ever showed you this one but when i first got the chicks from watertown new york i had bought this one because I didn't have anything. I first started with a basket and then they got bigger. And this was fine, you know, till they started becoming adults. And uh, believe it or not, when they got big, they also fit in here. Uh, but I moved them because this is way too small and I was still worried about this being outside. I was afraid like maybe a fox or raccoon would come in and, you know, that's how it is in there. Not too big. So I think what I'm going to do, clean this out and use it for like maybe like a 
when somebody's sick, I can move in here, separate them. Or when I get the babies now that I'm going to be hatching them, I can put them in here uh, as they get bigger and, and keep them next to the, to the main coop. That way they can kind of, you know, interact with the other ones. But with winter coming, any chicks that I had, so I'm probably just going to keep in the basement where it's warm. You know, and by the time spring comes, it should be big enough uh, to start introducing them here. But this is the coop. Grahalis. I'm not sure if I'm posted. It's, it's Grahalis Farm or Grahalis Farms with an S. <laughs> the, the one with the S sounds better, but I'm not sure what exactly people usually call their their, uh, their little coops. I say Grahalis Farm, so... It's a lot of fun, Gary. You know, I, I think, I think Tony told me you wanted to uh, maybe get into chickens or something. But I tell you, it's a lot of fun, man. You know, it's 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 just kind of peaceful. You know, you come home after a long day's work and you just hang out with your chickens. You know, and I just really appreciate. And this, I mean, there's tons of other ones. This is just a few. There's a lot more breeds. Uh, I think there's one called. Aname Samani or something like that. And the roost, the hen and roosters are completely black. Like, I mean, completely black. Their, their skin is black. Their in inside organs are black. Like, they're, they're supposed to be, like, a very rare breed. I've seen a few people have them. If I can get in touch with somebody, maybe I'll grab a hen and a rooster just to have completely black ones. But I'm trying to get, like just like a, an assortment of colors for eggs i got green white a few shades of brown i like to get i believe they're called an, an americana and those would lay blue eggs there's that one that's probably her eggs there she's going in there well yeah i'll probably go through this and clean it up a little bit later today I just wanted to show you, so this is a, this is a more detailed video of what we have so far. That's Huckleberry. All right, Gary, I'll uh, upload this to YouTube and when it's ready, I'll send it to you so you can take a look at this. But uh, there, there these chickens are really nice really cool and this is where i keep i'm gonna have to bring them in for the winter time maybe get either a bigger bucket or find a different location for this because i'm not gonna be doing this in the winter time here out here but this is just like regular uh crumble for like egg layers and then i buy a big bag of like whole corn I get this at Walmart. I believe the whole corn is like seven dollars for a huge bag. The crumble is about like ten, eleven bucks. Mix it up. Oh, man. let me start spraying it all. I mix it up, and uh, what I usually do is I sprinkle some out here and for them, and they scavenge. There they go. Just to keep them active. You know, I throw a little out there for them and they go go crazy. There we go. They start scratching the floor looking for stuff. Sometimes I sprinkle some inside too in the hay just so they can like move the hay around. Do one more. All right, Gary, I'm going to upload this and send it to you. God bless. Uh, hope you're doing well, and I'll talk to you soon.